quote, we are all a little weird and life's a little weird. And when we find someone whose weirdness is compatible with ours, we join up with them and fall in mutual weirdness and call it love. Amanda, you're my best friend, and words cannot begin to describe how much I love you. From the first real moment we were together, I knew you were something special. David, when I first met you, I was broken, <laughs> in pain, and unsure of where I was going in life. The night we met, you helped me forget my heartache, and to live in the moment, <laughs> to be genuinely happy. I still remember how your goofy personality captured me and swept me off my feet. I love that you're definitely way weirder than I am. I love how no matter how mad I am, you can always bring a smile to my face. I love that you accept me for who I am and my weird quirks as well. I love that we can spend hours looking for something new to watch on Netflix only to end up on The Office. We've been through so much together, from moving states, to changing jobs, to good times, to rough. But the one thing that's never changed is that's how much I love you. Your laughter is contagious. You light up a room, can talk to anyone about anything, make friends in the strangest of places, and you inspire me. You make me laugh when I'm down because most of the time you're funnier than me. Most of the time. You keep me grounded and sane. Just being next to you, even if we aren't talking, makes me feel at peace. I promise I'll always be supportive through any career changes we both might go through. I promise to drive you crazy by watching sports and maybe only grieving for one or two days when the Blues get knocked out of the playoffs <laughs> every year. I promise to continue to serenade you in the car on the way to work, even when you don't want me to. And I promise to make sure throughout your days that you feel supported and loved. But most of all, I just want to tell you that I love you and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. You continually push me to be a better person to fight for my future, for our future. And I owe so much of who I am today to you. We have been through it, and I know that we can make it through anything. I can't promise that things will be easy in the future. I can't promise that I won't annoy you. In fact, I'm sure that I will. But I can promise you that no matter what, I will be right by your side. Through all the pain, struggles, joy, and surprises that life throws at us, I will be right here. I promise to show you the same support that you showed me from day one. I promise to fight for us, even during the darkest of times. I had a vow to continue to try and make you laugh by being goofy, making weird faces at you, saying corny jokes where you just shake your head, but I know deep down you're laughing hysterically. I promise to love you with everything that I have and always choose you because I'm truly the most blessed, happiest person in the world. Why my best friend, partner, no friend, my husband. I give this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and vows. As a symbol of my love and vows. To cherish always and forever. To cherish always and forever. And now, by the power vested in me, I, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. David Schulberg. <laughs> I was thinking about what advice could I give you as a young couple. And I came up with a simple synonym that you can remember. It's called the F's. Faith, friends, family, forgiving each other, and most of all, have fun.
Shortly thereafter, David came into the picture. And even before I met David, I liked him because it was readily apparent how happy he makes Amanda and how he would do anything for her. And once I finally did meet him, he fit right in, literally. Even though he had never met any of Amanda's friends from Xavier, he drove all the way to Cincinnati and dressed up as a bird watcher to match our Halloween costumes. It felt like he'd been part of our friend group for years, and I felt confident that he and Amanda had something special. A successful marriage requires falling in love many times, always with the same person. During good times and bad, may you continue to fall in love with each other a little more each day. Here's to love, laughter, and happily ever after. July 2014, where David and Amanda met. Um, Nicole and I were there as well. We went to go see the fray and the fireworks show at Fair St. Louis in Forest Park. And as the fray ended their set that night and uh, the fireworks show started, it was really apparent that the fireworks overhead weren't the only fireworks going off. Um, it was apparent to me that it was igniting a flame inside the both of you, uh, full of love and what has brought us here today. Thank you.